Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading. All right, my beautiful loves. Let's see what we have here for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Aries, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages, please, for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Ooh. Clarity, guidance, love messages, please, for Aries. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Too many cards, guys. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aries, please. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have here today for Aries, please? Sun, moon, rising, and ooh, goodness, Aries, you guys are all over the place. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Aries, please. Okay. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot, Cancerian Energy, the Four of Cups, Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy, and the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy. Under the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy, Okay, so Aries, what I'm feeling here, Aries, there's kind of a sense here where somebody is talking to somebody, it's a friendship, there's some mild flirtation here. But with the Page of Swords and the Four of Cups, I feel like someone here is starting to accept the truth for what it is, that nothing is happening here, okay? Someone here is maybe putting out the feelers or putting out, you know what I'm saying, some the vibes and nothing is coming back. Someone's kind of getting bored and rejected of a situation. With the Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like there's a sense of, all right, well, I'm going to move on and go to something new. Um, I feel like perhaps... Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, Aries, either someone here is flirting with you and you're committed or you're you're wanting to like kind of flirt with someone who is committed. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's like someone's putting out the bait and, and no one's biting, right? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so it's a friendship now, a little bit of flirtatious, but someone's realizing, uh, you know, this is getting boring. It's getting boring because I'm not getting anything back. Do you understand? So someone makes the decision to move on here to something new. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Aries, please. Tell me about Aries, please. Tell me about Aries, please. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles for Aries. We've got the Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Wands for Aries, please. Page of Wands for Aries, please. And the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. So, yeah, you see, Aries, there's a lot of communication here. There's a lot of communication happening here. Someone is trying to manifest. Somebody is trying to, you know, throw a little, you know, romance in there, a little, uh, you know, passion flirting in there, dropping how much they make, you know what I'm saying? Because the magician has all four suits. So someone here is trying to show off a little bit and say, yeah, no, look, I could be loving and yeah, no, look, I'm good in bed and yeah, no, look, I got money in the bank and yeah, no, look, I, I'm smart and intelligent. Like someone here is really trying to show off and chase somebody, but with the Queen of Swords under the deck of Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, um, I feel like they're just hitting a brick wall every time. A Queen of Swords popped out again. They're just hitting, you know, so Aries again i don't know if you are the queen of swords where you're blocking someone's advances or if you're trying to you know what i'm saying be seen by somebody and they're just not wanting anything to do with it page of swords here and it could be because they're committed page of swords and the queen of wands leo sagittarius energy tell me about the four of cups and the nine of swords so aries you know i feel like you're accepting the truth here and i feel like or Either you're accepting the truth or someone's accepting the truth about you. I feel like, you know, there's a sense of showing confidence on the outside, but on the inside, someone here is actually feeling pretty rejected. You know what I'm saying? I feel like on the outside, someone here is projecting themselves to be okay with everything that's happening, like very confident, very sassy, like it doesn't bother them. But on the inside, like the person that is like, 
trying to get with somebody, the fact that their offer is not being taken, it hurts. It hurts this person, okay? They feel rejected. You know, this person is, you know, day, you know, uh, having nightmares. Just a lot of anxiety and a lot of pain. This person may even feel foolish a little bit, you know? Tell me about the chariot here for Aries. Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So someone here just comes to terms with the fact that it's never going to happen. You see what I'm saying? It's never going to happen with the person that they want. So with the Three of Wands, somebody here makes a decision to go look for something else, you know? And that decision is pretty much final. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. So... Aries, there's an indication of, I wanted this queen of pentacles, but this queen of pentacles is in a relationship, or maybe you guys work in the same place and this person doesn't want to have a work romance. I feel like with the ace of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, somebody here just went off to find another person to commit to. Okay, somebody just went off to find another person to commit to. Um, yeah, I, I feel like someone here is just, you know, moving on to something new or someone new. Because they're realizing here that it's just never going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to happen. Tell me about the final outcome here. The final outcome here. Ooh, for Aries, the final outcome here. Okay. So I feel that with the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy. So we've got the King to the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the World card. So I feel like there's an energy here, Aries, of you're meeting your match or someone here is moving on to something new. It's a true pair. It's a situation that fits. It's a good relationship. But I feel like someone here will never stop loving the person that they're leaving behind. So there's a sense of, you know, I loved you and I wanted it to work or I wanted us to be together, but it didn't work out. So, you know, I'm closing out the cycle. I'm moving on to something new, but like, I'll never forget you. You know what I'm saying? I'll never forget you. Um, with the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands, yeah, someone here is moving on to something new, moving in with someone new. Maybe an engagement is taking place. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> but it's kind of like, I, I feel like this person, even though they're in a relationship, even though they've moved on with the Queen of Cups here, it's like, you know, I, you know I'm closing out the cycle in this chapter of my life, but I'm still always going to have love for you. Do you understand? I'm never going to forget you. Um, even though, you know, we couldn't be together or whatever, I'm moving on because I have to move on, not because I want to move on. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of sad, really. It's really, it's really kind of sad, Aries. Um, but, you know, someone here is moving on to something that is very solid, very stable. Um, you know, King and Queen of Pentacles is a power couple. It's a power couple, okay? All right, guys, I love you so very much, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.